G'day guys, this is Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines on the diametric opposite side of the world. I'm in Stewart, Florida, and this is the home of some of the Evinrude research and development. Uh, the outboards are all made up in the north of the country, but they are not silly. They come down to this lovely part of the world to do a lot of their, uh, their R&D and product testing. Um, and we're here for launch, or a global launch, of an Evinrude product, and I thought it might have been maybe some smaller G2 motors, but what it is, it's a system called IDOC, which is uh, something which is designed under Evinrude's mantra to make boating easier. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a joystick system where you can use your twin outboards, and it has to be with a twin outboard rig, you can use your twin outboards uh, with a joystick to very precisely dock and get your boat in and out of these uh, situations. Um, a lot of people, the barrier to boating for them is the fact that they get nervous trying to uh, trying to dock their boats. Um, but this sort of technology makes it easy. A kid can jump in, the wife can jump in, anyone can jump in the boat and we all know how to use a joystick. It literally is that easy and as you see the international media behind me testing it out, uh, they're finding this uh, the iDock system to go with the Evinrude G2 outboards, it's pretty cool. Um, the Evinrude mantra I suppose is to make boating easier and a lot of their technologies have led to this, like they've got iSteer which is the, uh, the integral power steering which is in nearly all of the G2 models that you can get down under. Uh, they've got the I trim which is the automatic trimming that you can activate on your motor which takes the uh, takes the guesswork out of what is the optimum trim for your outboard. They have eye control which is the uh, the digital throttle system which uh, makes shifting uh, very smooth uh, and of course they've got the eye link which is a way where you can use your mobile phone, your tablet and you can get all of that information from your motor and display it not just on the Evinrude gauges but on a, on a tablet or a phone of your choosing. Um, and this eye dock it sort of completes that ecosystem and that's, uh, the big news about it though is the price. Now, historically, getting this joystick piloting style system on your boat costs around 10% of the price of the boat. It's not cheap. Um, but these guys here have been very aggressive with the pricing because it plugs into the existing power steering on these Evinrude G2s and plugs into that ecosystem, they're gonna do it for around half that price. They're factoring uh, on, uh, on say 5% of the cost of the boat can be now spent on the systems that uh, get you in and out of the dock safely. Now that's pretty big news. The other big news for Australian customers is that when you have to get a boat set up to do this with your twin G2s, you don't need a technician to fly halfway around the world to do it. The programs just need to be tweaked for each version of the hull, so I'm sure you're gonna be seeing later this year some versions of this iDock on some Australian made boats and Australian used boats. So uh, until then, I'm going to go get on the water. Let's see how this thing actually works. Uh, iDock from Evinrude. What a great day to do it in Florida. So they're in Florida, the sun's come out and we got out on the water here to test the new iDock system from Evinrude and uh, the advertising is correct, it is pretty easy to uh, easy to use. Um, the first thing I had to do with though was to don't have the instinct to grab the steering wheel. The first thing you want to do is grab the wheel, you don't need it with the iDock. You push one button on the iDock and then it switches fully to joystick control and it locks that steering wheel up. Um, of course you can go forward and reverse by pushing the uh, the joystick forward and backwards. Uh, you can spin the boat on its axis by uh, by just twisting the uh, the joystick to the left and right and it's easy to do if you keep a couple of fingers uh, on the base of the joystick. Uh, and then the really impressive thing that we all love doing is driving the boat sideways. Uh, both port and starboard, push the joystick in that direction and that's the way it's going to go. And when you get used to it and used to the two or three second delay uh, for the steering to get to the right point and to kick in, then you can do combinations of the two you can sort of be going sideways and add a little bit of forward. Um, 
there is a little bit of a detent on the side of it. So if you're going sideways and you need an extra boost because there's a gust of wind or some extra current, that extra power is there. You get an extra 30% when you push past that detent. Those motors rev nearly twice as hard and give you that extra thrust. If you're coming in or you're not paying attention, you need to make a quick correction, that is available to do. Um, and of course, the acid test was, could the media crew on the boat dock the boat in this dock? It has got a bit of wind today. There's five to 10 knots of breeze here and there's a little bit of current through this marina. And of course, we can put it in straight away. So uh, as advertised, uh, if international media can drive it, then of course women and children are going to have no problems whatsoever. So uh, all up, it's an impressive product. It's going to come in at the right price. Uh, not exactly sure when it's going to be launched down in uh, down in the Southern Hemisphere and down in Australia, but I definitely know the guys from Tellwater that distribute Evernood are going to make some great boats to take advantage of this technology. So until next time, this is Steve Morgan checking out from Stewart in Florida.